Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome back to this is the final episode. I know I did one before and said this could be the final episode but this is the final episode of New World. This is going to be my final thoughts and review on this magnificent game. However, before I continue with this video, I want to do my usual thank you. So thank you for everybody who has liked my previous video. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos have come out. Lots of stuff on the channel, new world, flying. Um, this next uh 31 days so it's currently sunday the 1st of august and from today for the whole of august i'm going to be publishing a video every single day some of them will be little snippets from uh, new world so little tips and tutorials just to kind of finish off uh what i've been playing on here uh some of them will be microsoft flight simulator and some of them will be other games uh right so today uh Oh, the bells are going. Um, final thoughts. I'm just going to do a little bit of gameplay today. A little play around. Um, I have picked up some quests in um, this area here in First Light. And I've got six quests here. Three of them are faction quests. Uh, three of them are normal quests. And I'm just going to run around and do them. So I'm up here currently... Um, in this settlement of uh, Cutlass Keys, and I am going to head down to number six, then to one, two, and three, then all the way up to number four, across to number five, uh, and then turn them in. That'll be my plan today. Uh, there's going to be no edits, there's going to be no cuts. I'm literally just going to go uh, and do the whole thing. Uh, my character. Uh, attributes I have gone mainly in focus I did put a little bit into constitution but not too much but mainly into focus um, my weapon I've, I've had a play with different weapons not all of them I haven't played with the boulder musket or the spear or the war hammer uh, I did a little bit with the great hacks I did a little bit of rapier uh, initially when starting the game I did play uh, sword and shield I did a little bit with the fire staff and a little bit more with the ice gauntlet that was kind of the second thing that i went i went sword and shield and then ice gauntlet and then uh finally i decided uh life staff and hatchet and that's what i'm currently playing with uh life staff uh, i've gone for the healer uh, and protector split here um f mainly for solo play uh, and the hatchet um uh, pretty much all berserker um and it's really really good um really like it so without further to do uh, let us head to number six so i'm going to head down to this fishery and then cut across down this little gap here so let's put a little marker there so what do i think of the game um it's amazing uh it is beautiful there are a few little things that um i wouldn't say annoy me but i just think it's a bit daft like these things here I know it, it's cosmetic, but really, rainbow lions, what is that all about? The dog I get, that looks part, that could fit in here, okay? Uh, and I'm guessing most of the stuff that he's got in his house, uh, you know, a bed, furniture, a fire, although I don't know if the fire is actually part of the house already, I get. But these stupid looking lions, I mean, really? <laughs> But whatever. Um, yeah, there's a couple of little things that are a bit weird, like that, as an example. Um, but as a whole, this game is just fantastic. There is nothing to complain um, about the game. I'm actually going to set my buying point here, just in case I need to come back to this point, and then at least I've got a quick travel. Um Running around, there's no mounts as yet in the game. Um, do I want mounts? Do I think there should be mounts? You know, so I don't know. And the reason why I say I don't know is because there is a form of quick travelling. Um, 
I can get to pretty much. Obviously, you've got to go and visited the place first, but you know you can get around, you can travel around, you can visit uh, places, um, pretty much without any issues, really. Um, just gonna adjust my volume a little bit here. Hopefully, that's not too bad. Down a little bit. I'm just having a look at my volume levels. I'm not quite sure whether they are to uh, high. Uh, yeah, I've got Sword and Shield on at the moment. I just w wanted to have a little play with that today. Um, so yeah, mounts, I don't know. And the reason why I'm saying I don't know is, and I've watched other people, uh, other streamers and YouTubers, and you know, some of them are saying that they should have mounts, some of them are saying that they shouldn't have mounts, and I'm listening to everyone's arguments. And the, the biggest one, I think, really, is PvP. Um, although I'm not really doing, well, I haven't done any PvP uh, in the game. I'm saving that for launch. Um, people getting around, people kind of running off when there's PvP going on because you've got mounts, all that sort of stuff. You know, does the ability to call your mount when you are um, in combat, is that going to be a thing? Let me just my volume, I think it might be a bit too loud. Hopefully that's okay there. Because um, I've played some MMOs where if you're on, in combat, you can't call your mount. I've I played some MMOs where you get off your mount, your mount stays in that place. Um, and it can be attacked. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. If I'm completely honest, have I missed not having a mount? Not really. Um, where am I going here? I'm going straight across. Straight across, I need to get up this little gap here. Um, I haven't missed not having a mount. It's not really been a, a major factor, if I'm completely honest. Um, I haven't minded... Minded? <laughs> I haven't minded. Um, I haven't... It hasn't been an issue, me running around. Because the game is so good looking. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this game. Um... If it was an ugly game and you just wanted to get to somewhere quickly, then yeah, I could probably say having a mount would be uh, a, a done deal. But in this game, I mean, just look at it. It's Why would you want to go through all of this really quickly? I mean, I get that some people want to get to point A to point B as quick as possible and they want to rush through content as quick as possible. I'm not one of those people, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. I'm one of those people that wants to take his time, enjoy the game, um, and make it last. I mean, there's people that are at max level, or almost at max level. There's people that have done all the content in the game, and it's like, what are you going to do when the game releases? All right, you know what to do. Okay, yeah, you know where all the best gear is. Um, but then what? You get all the best gear, you've done all the content, then what are you going to do? You're going to moan. You are going to moan that there is nothing to do in the game. Why? Because you've done it all in the first week or two. Um, I'm level 29 and a half, a little, maybe a little bit under half. And I have done all the first light area. I've done a bit of Cutlass Keys. I've done quite a bit of Monarch's Bluff. Uh, I've done a bit in Windward. I've done a bit in Ever's Fall. Uh, I haven't been up to Ebon Scale. I've done a bit in Blightwood. I haven't been to Withers Fen, Restless Shore, uh, Morning Gale, Eden's Grove, Great Cleave, Shattered Mountain. I've not been to any of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven areas that i've eight areas that i have not been to um nine areas right there one two three four five six seven oh yeah eight eight, eight or nine areas that i've not been to uh, and uh, two or three areas that i haven't completely covered i've got so much more that i can do in this game and i'm really looking forward to it um, i've got lots of content that i can enjoy and play uh, and i'm going to take my time what have i been doing 
I've been testing different things out, testing different weapons out, uh, mainly testing out the crafting. Uh, if we go into trade skills, I have been not grinding it out, but I've been doing quite a lot. The only thing I haven't really done a lot on is dual crafting. That's quite a difficult one, if I'm honest. Uh, I've got loads of bits and pieces for dual crafting, but it's quite a difficult one to level up. Um, it does need quite a lot of different things. Um, weapon smith and armor smith, uh, armoring pretty much the same. Uh, engineering, I got up a fair amount. Arcana, same again. Cooking, I've done a lot in. Cooking, I can see being a big one. Uh, as well as arcana for the potions the potions and the the food bus i can see being a big thing furnishing um i can see it being popular because people are going to want to have the houses they want to look make them look nice get the high points so that they're at the top of the leaderboard um i can see that happening so furnishing i can see being a big thing um the refining is where i've done quite a lot in um just because i've been out gathering and then gathering obviously you refine them that you gather or you cook um harvesting obviously is quite high uh tracking and skinning that's a, a really high one uh, i've been doing a lot of that um and the good thing about that is um at the top of the screen when you uh, get these high levels you can see i've got like a little rock here so i can see that there's an iron uh, node uh, just here and there's another one might be just behind or might be just above me uh, oh there it is so you get these little icons uh, you get them for I was gonna say pets you get them for uh, animals you get them for herbs and all those bits and pieces as you level them up um, so it's all in the tracking you can see there's another iron or uh, node up there I'm not gonna bother with that one off um i'm just trying to think where am i going here uh i'll just i need to do a little left turn down here um lost my train of thought then so yeah there's lots lots of things that um i've been trying out but i have and, and i've done the first dungeon as well i've done the first uh dungeon which is uh, I think it's here. Yeah, the Armine Excavation. Uh, I've done this one here, uh, level 25 minimum. I've done it twice. Uh, I've healed both times, uh, and it's a pretty cool dungeon. And that's all I've done. I want to leave the rest. Um, I've had the opportunity to level up uh, higher. I've had the opportunity to um, do more content, but I don't want to. I want to save it for when the game actually releases. Oh, hello. Um, can leave quickly. Thank you. Oh, right. Let's um, get some of this down. Get myself healed up. Uh, switch back over. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, nothing against people that have been rushing through and getting to max level that's obviously how they want to play the game that's what they want to do in the beta but me personally like i say i just wanted to um test it out and try different things and save a lot of the higher level better content for when i am um in the main game rather than uh, doing it all now and then i'm not saying that if I did it all now, when the game releases, there will be nothing to do. Of course there's going to be stuff to do. You can do it all again. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I just don't want to do it all again, uh, if I'm completely honest. Um, I want to uh, enjoy my time. I'm going to take my time. Um, and I've got all my friends that I um, play with, real life uh, friends that I've been gaming with for, I don't know, almost 20 years. Um, they're pretty much on the same uh, wavelength as me. They want to take the time and enjoy it. Um, so we are going to be creating a guild, uh, Noble Legends. Uh, we've actually created one, and it's only me and my friend, or one of my friends, in at the moment. Because um, I haven't bothered inviting people. I haven't bothered uh, recruiting people. I just didn't really see the point in beta. Um, I didn't want any stress. I didn't want any... Um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, pressure or anything like that. I just wanted to play how I wanted to play. But I'm just going to quickly. I'm going to go over to you because this is a little bit uh, not high, high level, but higher. Uh, just want to make sure I don't get myself killed. Actually, I need to eat some food as well uh, that I have been making. Oh, some of you and some of you and i've actually run out of food what we got here mana mana health let's put you in there uh, just quickly reply to this text message right um yeah, so I want to I want to enjoy the game. So we are recruiting, or we will be recruiting. Um, I'm going to set up a Discord channel, um, and I will be putting links in the description um, of future videos, um, so that you guys and girls um, can obviously uh, join if you wish. Better grab this. See what I need to actually collect these. Um, so yeah, you're going to be more than welcome to obviously join if you wish, but it's not going to be a giant, a giant guild. It's not going to be a, a PvP focus guild. It's going to be, well, as the title of our Discord is currently called, uh, Friends Who Game, um, and that's what we do. We're 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 a bunch of friends, uh, and we like to game, um, and you are more than welcome to obviously uh, join us. Right, let's uh, get some killing. Oh, missed that shot. So this is the the, the life staff um, on its own. Pretty cool. Uh, what I normally do is do life staff, switch across, especially when there's multiple mobs like this, and then just whack them, whack them, whack them, and then my heal healing me while I'm. Doing the damage. Uh, secondary weapon with life staff can be pretty much anything you want, really. Um, I, I I like hatchet. Uh, one of the things I do like about hatchet is the berserk uh, ability, which basically stops you from getting knocked back. Um, that's a skill. Let me quickly show you. Uh, hatchet. Uh, this skill here triggers a berserk mode that increases all attacks damage by 20% while active but it's this skill down the bottom uh, while in berserk your attacks are uninterruptible during berserk and you can't be staggered that is uh, a really really cool uh, really handy skill to have right, enter oh, oh, right we need to carry on going down this way search chests for syndicate satchel at uh, yeah so we need to be in there <clears throat> uh, you'll know whether you actually need to kill the mobs or not because it'll have like a little icon above the head see no, these haven't got little icons above the the um the bar should have probably shown you on the uh when i was killing the last bunch uh which way am i going here i'm gonna end up getting myself in a bit of bother here so let me uh, start killing some of these before I get myself killed it see how good that is like there was a lot of mobs there <laughs> um, but managed to keep myself alive right um, so my daughter's just messaged me saying that she needs some help and I'm in possibly the worst place to give her some help maybe I'll be safe here uh, right I'll be back in a second right is that done get myself back up here right what do I need to do here basically we just need to kill stuff in here don't we and Yeah, kill stuff and search some chests. Right. 
single mobs I generally just go in straight in with the hatchet. Uh, multiple mobs I'll uh, get my heal ready. Let me get up here, that'd be great, thank you. I've got a chest here. So they're not specific chests, uh, any crates with anything in them will generally have the items that you're looking for. Right, see how it's got that little um, gold or yellow um, diamond on its head? Uh, that means it's a quest mob. Oh. Let's get rid of this guy first. And let's kill this dude. Go. Cool. Right, kill Blight Beacon Taskmaster. Master. Yeah, that's this dude here. I want to try and keep myself in the uh, healing area as much as possible while I'm fighting. Got a decent block, but not good enough, sir. Not good enough. Right. How are we looking? Uh, search. We need three more chests. Where's number? Oh, it's just, that's it. Three more chests in this area. And then we can um, head all the way up here. Right, we've done that bit. They do respawn pretty quick, so something to be aware of. I don't know whether they'll... Um, I don't know if they've increased it for the purpose of beta or whether they'll uh, if it's planned to be like that or whether they'll dumb it down I don't know um, but it is pretty uh, pretty fast respawns which obviously you need when there's a lot of people around but at the same time when you're on your own it's like oh my god stop respawning already Guess the kind of beginner area you're going to have to have um, faster respawns because there's more people going to be in those areas. Um, right, if I remember rightly, if I run around here, that needs to get my heels ready. Plunk a heel there. Oh, press the wrong button. That um, anti-stagger skill of the Berserk is... It's just brilliant because as a caster, <laughs> the last thing you want is while you're casting this to you get staggered and then it cancels your um your cast that's a real uh pain so one thing i do like uh which i find is uh tricky is the actual combat in this game um i'm very used to the alt tabbing or tab not alt tabbing but tabbing to tab to target is what i meant to say tab to target and pressing a hotkey for an ability to happen um and then you just keep it you know you can tab to the next one or you just keep on to that one until it's dead and it's very very simple i think 
um, head in that direction. Yeah, very simple and in a way kind of boring because um, it's not difficult at all. I'm just going to avoid most of the bobs. Um, whereas this one, it's it's aim. You got you got to aim at people or aim at mobs um, to hit them. You got to aim at your uh, color. Ooh, silver. We'll grab some silver. Uh, you got to aim at the um, your group members to heal them, uh, unless obviously you're doing an AOE heal. It's not none of this tabbing. So it's different. It makes it difficult. Um, makes it more challenging, but makes it more fun in my opinion because it isn't just mindless. Tab, spam, 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 tab, spam, 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 spam. You know, you've really got to concentrate on what you're doing, where you're aiming, where your cursor is. So that element I like, personally. Even though, let's like say, I'm used to uh, the tabbing mechanic, you know, WoW, um, Star Wars, The Old Republic... Um, what else have I played? Terror, um, Ice, um, Elder Scrolls, um, Lord of the Rings Online. There's, there's so many. I mean, I've been playing MMOs since, uh, well, as, excuse me, as long as I remember. Star Wars Galaxies was the first MMO I played. Uh, I think it was 2003 or 2004 uh, when I first started playing that. Pretty much when it released. Um, and... There's a good bunch of people that I'm still in contact with. At least, at least four, four or five people I'm still in contact with from playing. Um, right, which way are we going? All the way up here. Take that off. So up here, turn right, and then turn right of that building there. Cool. Um, and two of them, I, I'm pretty much touch them on a daily basis almost. Uh, Sponzy and Tops, or Grundy as he's sometimes uh, known. Um, met both of them in Star Wars Galaxies, and every MMO that I played, I played with them, pretty much. I think there might be one or two that I may not have played with them, or played with one of them and not the other. But a majority of them... Um, I've played with both of them and we still play together now. Um, we're going to be playing this. We play Call of Duty together uh, most days. But yeah, I absolutely love this game. It is, it, it's got everything in, the, in an MMO that I'm looking for. So it's got the PvE. It's got the PvP. Um, PvP is a big element in this game, although I haven't done any of it. I'm aware of it and I know it goes on. Uh, and it does look really, really good. I'm just leaving it for a, uh, for a while. Um, it's got all of the crafting that you want. It's got all of the gathering that you want. Uh, we're turning right here, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Um, I like the fact that you're not tied down to, you know, a set number of professions. If you want to master every, everything, you can. Um, I like the fact that you're not tied down to being a healer or being a tank or being a DPS. You can be any of them. You can change any of them. You can be a hybrid. Uh, you can be a tank healer. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what's so cool about the, this game. You could have a sword and shield, a life staff, put your attribute points into constitution so you've got a big massive help oh, i've gone the wrong way here no we haven't so you've got a big massive uh, health pool and you can tank and then when you need to you can heal uh if you need to um it, it's just unbelievable the the variations of classes that you can be in this game or by just switching your weapons out or um changing your attribute points i mean someone i, I read somewhere or i've seen so i can't remember now it, it was like 
before the um, beta launched that it's something like over 400 different class combinations over 400 different class combinations because you think you've got all of your various different weapons that you can use um, let me just see going a straight line there so you've got all of your different weapons so you've got three six nine ten you've got 11 different weapons so you work out however many combinations that could be you could have sword and shield and rapier sword and shield and hatchet sword and shield blah 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 uh, rapier and life stuff you've got so many various different combinations of uh weapons then you've got your different attributes uh whether you want to have or constitution or focus or intelligence or dexterity or strength to, uh, to um, dictate how good you are going to be in that specific area or uh, you can or you can um, mix and match so you could go like half focus half intelligence and be a life staff fire staff you could go half focus and half constitution and be a tanky healer you know, you're just a healer with a, a large mana pool, uh, a large uh, health pool, sorry. So, the combinations is just wicked. Um, and that's something that they've done really, really well. All I do hope is um, they don't change it too much. The way it is now is not broken. Everything works. Um, I don't think anything's overpowered. I don't think anything's underpowered. Uh, I've tried pretty much everything out and everything seems to work fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I've got no complaints. The game looks good. I, I don't really know what more I can say other than, um, is it worth... Ow! Is it worth um, getting? 100%. 100%. If you like MMOs um, and you like um gathering you like crafting all those different things you don't have to do all of them obviously but if you do like them then this has got it for you uh right what we're we doing here um defeat captain carriage kaufman okay well let's go and get him Let's go and get him. I think he's a little, uh, a little guy, uh, a guy that's up in this little platform up here. Been in there a few times. There's a a, a high level mob just in here. Yeah, that guy just there. I don't know if that's him or not. Right, let's um get rid of this guy here. Right, let's plop you down oh you down uh do that. Switch to you. Come on, mate. Come on. You know, wasn't meant to run over there. Let's get rid of you. Dodge that one. Getting shot from behind. And that's you dealt with. Is he shooting at me? Are you shooting at me? I'm not quite sure. Yes, you are. How about you take some of this? Oh, you want you want a block, do you, Mister? It's my chair. Oh, squeeze shop. Um. Yes. Right, we're done in here. We need to head to a number five. Let me just put auto run on. Where are we heading? 
Oh, straight down here. Cool. So yes, yeah, the variety of stuff to do in the game is amazing. Uh, it looks amazing. I mean, just look at that. Let's just just take that in for a second. Just look at that background. It does have a day-night cycle, uh, which is good. I haven't worked out exactly how long day and night is I, I might actually sit here and time it at some point obviously i won't do it now but at some point i uh, i might record that uh, uh time that and just see um how long a day and night cycle actually is because that'll be interesting to know what's this thing on here what are you floating spine fish okay take you Uh, and if I do find out, I'll uh, I'll put it in the comments b below um, and let you know. Should have probably gone more this direction. Seems to be going in a little bit of deeper water. Probably should have followed the uh, the lights, <laughs> the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Oh, and phone's ringing. Let me just stop here. Right, I'm back. My uh, miss is phoning me up. She's uh, gone out for lunch with her sister. Just let me know that she's there safely. Right, uh, what are we doing at number five? Uh, lynxes, okay. Just got to kill three lynxes and skin them for their hide. So, what things can we uh, do with gathering? Uh, we can chop trees down. Uh, obviously, I've got high-level um, logging, so I can get these bigger ones. And even these gigantic ones here, mature trees, I can get. Uh, I can see a lynx over there. See the little rabbit on the, icon, on the compass at the top? So I can see where uh, they are. Sixteen aged wood, beautiful. Um, we've got hemp here, so this uh, gives us fiber. So hemp is these big tall plants. I'm gonna say they're pink, and these violet ones is herbs. Uh, and you'll get uh, hyssop uh, with sometimes a second ingredient like saffron, uh, nutmeg, uh, dill cinnamon all those kind of different herbs basically right let's go and where have you gone dude there you are kill you uh harvest you for your sharp claws another one over there i haven't got to the level of tracking them yet um uh, not in there go back go back um trade skills tracking and so i don't know if the class is small predator or large predator i've got large prey so that'll be like yeah um elks and buffaloes and stuff but predators i don't know whether they're classed as sm i mean wolves are obviously small and bears are large i don't know whether these here wherever he's gone is a large or a, a small either way he's getting killed and getting harvested harvested did did that one up no it's not there's one up there. So I'll 
plenty around. Well, I say plenty. It might not be plenty if there's two or three of us doing this uh, mission at the same time. Um, you up? The other thing I don't know as well is if I was in a group uh, doing this same mission with someone else, obviously I harvest this, I get the loot. What would happen to other group members? Would they need to do the same? That's something I haven't tested out. I might have to uh, see whether I can test it out at some point. Probably won't. I'll, I probably won't get the opportunity. Right, so that's that all done. Uh, so let's go to the settlement, recall to the inn. Uh, yes. So I'm doing the inn first because the inn's on an hour cooldown. Uh, then if I need to recall back uh, within that hour, I'll recall back to the house. Um, I generally haven't had to recall back more than twice within an hour uh, period. So generally I haven't had to do it more than uh, twice within an hour. Right, so we've got a quest turn and turning up here. We've got three turnings at our faction representative. Let's turn you in. I'm not bothering reading anything. Um, let's turn that in. Okay, that's that all done. Um, right, we need we've got a guy there and a faction representative. Let's go to this blokey down here first. Albert Riches, is it? Albert, where are you, Albert? Straight down. Straight down here. Oh, no, read it, read it. I'm going the wrong way. He's up here, up these um, steps. The, the other one I was just heading to was the uh, faction representative. There we go, Albert. Uh, let's turn you in. Uh, and he's giving me a ring, which isn't an upgrade, so I'm not too fussed about that. uh that's not an upgrade that's not an upgrade so i'm actually going to just salvage these so when but you've got two options well three options with um with anything that you don't want you can either uh drop it on the floor so someone else can have it uh you can sell it on um the trade market uh, or you can salvage it um there is no uh, there's no vendors to um there's no vendors to um, to sell anything. So what you need to do is um, either salvage it or sell it, uh, basically, or just give it to someone else. So we are going to salvage these. Uh, and when you salvage it, you do get um, repair, repair parts and some uh, gold as well. And down here is your repair parts. And this is what's required to repair your equipment. Uh, so that's really handy. Um, you can have a maximum of 2,000. I've got 246. Um, and I've got some stuff that's damaged. So if I click repair all, it's going to cost me 27 repair parts and 49 gold. So that's all cool. Um... Well, we've got a uh, right. Let's go and turn these faction quests in. And then I think we're going to call it an end of an episode. So complete, complete, complete.
and then we'll just pick up the next three i've got 19 on well, almost 2000 um faction points um and i've leveled up to scrivener so that gives me the second level so you start off at, of a um start off um, at adept uh, and then the next level is scrivener which is just basically the next level up um i've got pretty much all of the armor from here um i've got better uh, staff and um hatchet um, but yeah some really cool stuff in here i do actually want to i did buy this um shield here and the stats are fairly similar um in fact i've already got one on so you can see i mean this one does better damage and blocks stamina damage but it's got less elemental physical uh armor rating uh, less block and stability um, it's got exactly the same strength and constitution um, but what I didn't realize when I actually got these is the weight this is half of the half of the weight um, and if you look at your uh, stats um, if you go to buy uh, attributes nope sorry um, tab if you look at your character um this is all the equipment that you are using and you've got this bar here once you go over 15 it puts you into the medium category and you can see here 17.6 on class is medium um so it means that i don't have the um damage bonus and i don't have the um quick rollout um ability and that's just because of this shield so if i buy this shield it's going to bring me down 4.1 so I'll get this by now and then go back into tab and if I swap these over it puts me down to 13.5 so now I'm light and I've got 20% um, bonus damage which is significant for uh, DPS and it's going to be significant for solo play as well so I can kill stuff uh, even quicker. So yeah, um, just love the game. I, I love the layout. I love how all of these things are all split into different categories. It makes it easy to find and do whatever you need to do. You've got all of your different um, areas here. I do like the fact that you've got all of your crafting gathering tools all in one section and you don't have to equip them apart from fishing fishing the only one that you equip the rest of them will activate when you start doing whatever it is uh you've got your, your little bags and trinkets and whatnot here you've got your ammunition here that's this is really handy you can see at a glance what you've got what's broken what you need and all that sort of stuff without having to search through uh your bag of inventory um so absolutely genius um, and then obviously you've got all of your stuff down here when you hover over it shows you what it all is I'm, I'm just blown away I re really am blown away on how great this game is um, so yeah I'm gonna call it an end of an episode um, I was planning on um, around about an hour it's been what 40 odd minutes 48 minutes or so so it's a good length of time um, I have barely uncovered barely touched the surface of this game and from what i see it is fantastic it's got everything i don't know whether they're going to expand this i'm guessing they will at some point um obviously over time with expansions and whatnot they'll expand the areas but at this moment in time there's no requirement for them to do that um i think the only thing i will say that maybe they need to have a look at is um the campfire kind of cheat if you want to call it that it's, it's not really a cheat but basically what you can do is i can kill myself off um, or i can go to respawn which kills you off and respawn myself at, either at um my inn at my house or at the closest settlement or a campfire i place down so let's say i'm doing jobs around here but I need to get back to here, put a campfire down, do the jobs over here, uh, respawn myself back here. I then don't have to travel all the way back there. Um, 
that's not really a significant difference it wouldn't really make much of a, an issue but let's say i'm up here um, i'm doing jobs up here my inn and my house is down here um but i'm getting oh recommended level 65 <laughs> I, I won't be doing jobs up there just yet but let's say i'm up here I, i'm questing up here uh, my bags are nearly full um rather than me running all the way back down here or rather than me quick traveling and costing as off to get there um or to get back um i can just put a campfire down wherever i am obviously outside of settlements and outside of um special areas um i can travel to my inn drop my stuff off respawn back at the campfire within a minute um I don't know, I don't know whether that's intended to be like that whether they didn't realize it bit have a big impact but I can do that constantly and constantly I can just keep going back and forth back and forth back and forth let's say there's a load of really good resources up here I, I gather them travel to the inn respawn back here gather respawn to my house uh, respawn back here gather in house in you know and i could just keep going back and forth all right yeah depending on how long it takes you might have to wait a bit of time um but even if i have to wait i can just do a travel um a fast travel uh once or twice uh if needed so that is one thing i don't know whether it needs looking at or not um some people think it's a great thing some people think it's a, a bit of a uh a cheat especially for pvp because you can just put your campfire outside of a pvp zone if you die you, you spawn back there. i don't know I, I really don't know i haven't really kind of played around with it that much to see whether it is game breaking or not but whatever um you guys think about that i don't know the game is just fantastic i mean even little things like this this all looks different at the very beginning it's now a, a tier four as things up, upgrade they all change the look and they are now have buildings rather than it just being a little forge out on its own it's now a tier five and it's got all of this building bits and pieces and the signs and it's got two crafting or three uh crafting uh areas it little details like that it's just really really cool um and i am thoroughly enjoying it uh, my final final thoughts on the game uh it is fantastic well done amazon uh, keep up the good work don't turn it into wow don't turn it into eso don't turn it into any other mmo just because um some kids cry and saying oh but wow has this and eso has that keep it as it is keep it as amazon's new world there is no need to go and change it to another game uh don't add in pay to win because that's just gonna it's going to ruin it for a lot of people you can make enough money by um buying the game uh, from, from people buying the game have cosmetic stuff in there because people like that but don't make it pay to win um and i think I'm, I'm just going to call it an end of an episode so thanks for watching um stay safe i'll give you a, a quick wave goodbye uh if you have liked the video uh, please do hit that like button um subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified of when new videos come out uh, this is the last episode however there may well there will be a couple of other videos coming out of stuff that i've already uh, pre-recorded uh, that's going to be coming up um potentially after this video uh, goes live stay safe everyone and i'm going to see you in a month Bye.